I want to go to this. You'll be interested in this. Peyton in Mississippi. I don't know if this is true. Hello. Hey, man. Hey. Uh, no, I was just telling the guys that, I mean, I don't want to get into all this, but I think it's funny. But Jason just did a, I guess he's on the way to work and just did a Instagram live video. And just, he was kind of saying him and Sam are okay, but trashing you, Jim. And I've grown to love the show. And why is he trashing Jim? Along. Why can't he just, like, be cool? I want to find out exactly what yeah, he said. Yeah, I, I want to hear what he said. Who's Jason Ellis? He okay. comes on uh, after us. Uh, I th- he's moving afternoons on Monday. But, uh, They're watching it right now in here. They are? Yeah. Well, okay. we'll play it in, can we play it in here? Or yeah. tell Troy where to find us. We can play. Uh, we it's on Instagram. I'll, I'll let you guys go. Appreciate it. Have a great one. Thank you. How Liz Hong is it? Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to defend the show anymore. Like, you're a fucking dribbling snake. Fucking worm. Like, Who's he talking about? Just, I think he's talking he, about Jim. He Jim fucking hated me from the start. Just like Opie said. That dude fucking hates me. You're talking what about Jim? Guys? Why? So now he got what he wanted, so now he can piss on me. So, he's not talking about Jim. Whatever. Yeah. How's Jim pissing on you? Hey, the other thing, oh, I'm not trying to look for drama. Like, you fucking love drama, dude. That's your thing. Oh, because he had said some, yeah, made some remarks. I responded to those. Because I ain't trying to start drama with you. I didn't say anything about it. I said your show's good. That's it. I'm done defending his show. <laughs> Fuck. Make up fucking fake shit in your own dribbling mind. Dribbling. Fuck that cunt. <laughs> Fuck you too, Jason. Oh, shit. Fuck you too. on my side, but man, wasn't easy. Fucking, he had to get all weird, too. I was like, dude, come on. Is he just, is he just doing like, shtick? Like I think so. Is this like, shtick? He's looking for someone to talk about him. Ugh, uh, what are you doing? 10, I don't care. Like, let's, don't do that. His attitude changed very quickly once he realized that he wasn't going to get what he wanted. Oh, yeah. Look, I, I, look here's the thing. I don't know if he's kidding or not. I don't like yeah. to react if someone's joking. Yeah. I reacted to him saying something a little bit shitty about me doing an MMA podcast. He was being, like, not, he wasn't being awful. Um, but if you want to argue on the radio, I'll do that with you all day, every day. I know who I am. I'm not, a, I'm not in search of an identity. I'm not running around going, hey, everybody, this is who I am this week. I've been the same Jim Norton for a long time. So I don't know what you're doing. If you're fucking around, I don't want to react too harshly. Right. right, right. Uh, but if you're really saying fuck me, then fuck you too. I, I know who I am. I've been the same guy for a long time. I'm not running around putting on different costumes trying to get people to go, now am I okay, guys? Now am I okay, guys? What do you mean? Just try to be something different every week. I'm crazy. I'm extreme. I'm a nice guy. Oh. I love Obi Anthony. I love Howard. I do this. I suck dick. Fine. Be all of those things, but just be consistent. But I don't want to bash the guy if he's just fucking around. Right. But that's a little bit annoying. I always like Jason. I hope he's wrong if he said I always hate him. I didn't always hate him unless he was talking about Anthony, because Anthony didn't like him. He might be talking about. So Anthony. if he's talking about Anthony, but I wasn't the one who bashed Jason. So if he's talking about Anthony, you take all that back. Well, yeah, I'm reacting angrily to something that I think somebody is Why saying. Why would you be talking about, about Anthony? That, that, I don't, but I'm saying I couldn't think. Why would he talk about me? Because yeah, he, he is talking. Why about me. are we so sure that he's talking about you? Did because he Jim and Sam. And he, yeah, uh, he did yeah. say I got Sam on my. I don't yeah. know why he said it was. Did he like? I say can't, that, that, that I was making a big deal about whose show was number one. Or uh, I, if he did, he's sorely mistaken. He's the one that brought it up. He is right. the one that brought yeah. it up. Did he have a morning show too? He came on after us. Yeah, and he kind of thought that he should come in and I guess take but over. It's, and it's, it was the station that we were already on. It's no competition. So the beef, I'll tell you, Andrew Schultz. The beef started, and it was because. Is this redundant for listeners? I mean, you can I, people tell me love, people okay. love right. drama. Um, I'm going to shit my pants too. There's no beef between me and Jason because we talked about it after. and like. But just the fact that you had to call in and talk about it because he was saying so shit. One day he goes, like, he, he asked me, hey, can I call you on the air? I was like, yeah, sure. And so he called me up and he was like, hey, can we move our show? Can you move your show an hour earlier, and then we can move our show an hour earlier on the air? And I was like, like in my head, I was like, well, I don't really make programming decisions. But I said, no. I mean, our preference, we're not, we're not, we're not moving because there's guests and and blah blah blah. And then he said his show is number one, and I said, well, I disagree. I think our show is number one. And then I talked about it on the air. But I don't know. If, I don't. I think we're cool now because we both just think our show's good. Is he doing just radio, old school radio? Yeah, I don't know. Beef? That's why I don't want to kill. Because I do like the guy. Yeah. And I have said I liked him. I didn't agree with him on Nick DiPaolo. I'm sorry. I don't believe in censoring people just because you're now admitting shit that I've been talking about for a decade. All right. So what? what? You don't deserve a round of applause because you admit that you fucking like trans women. 
But most importantly... Gives a fuck. Oh, that's what he's saying? No, I mean, look, again, for him it might be a revelation. I mean, I respect the fact that he's coming out and talking yeah, about this stuff. Yeah, but you put in the work. But, but, I, but I also don't want Nick censored because he no. has a certain feeling about it. Or Dude, I, I get, it's like when it's like all the people who wore skinny jeans and now you're seeing like everybody in hip-hop wearing skinny jeans. Like, you used to call me gay for fucking yeah. 15 years for wearing skinny jeans. We have to wrap up. With that up. Before right. this, I just will say this. I, I don't want to react too shitty because if he's just being kind of silly and fucking around, I don't want to bash the guy because I do like him. And right. the real point of all this anyway is that if you go to HighlineBallroom.com and you can get <laughs> tickets to Sam Roberts Wrestling Podcast August 16th, uh, tickets are available now so go to highlineballroom.com or any of my social media and you can get tickets to Sam Roberts Wrestling Podcast live Dan Soder and other surprise guests will be there yes and if you're saying Jason's saying fuck you just kind of being silly but if you're saying fuck you you're a cunt and meaning it for real then fuck you too for real Whoa. if you mean it then fuck you too hit me up Jason see you next week bye guys